focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and a warm welcome to NSC's Financial Quest Season 4. We are at that stage where one victory ensures a position in the national finale. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second semi-final. Five teams will battle it out. They are, after all, the city champions from the 15 cities across India that this quiz has been to. 400 odd schools and from them we've arrived at these five different champions who will battle it out today and ensure that they are the last team standing. For now, without further ado, let me introduce to you the top five here or the five teams that will battle it out in semi-final number two. Those then, ladies and gentlemen, the five teams that are going to battle it out here for a position in the national finale. Teams, you know the rules. We're not making any more changes. It's the same bulls, bears and stags. 50, 75 and 100. Equal amount of negative if you get it wrong. Let's begin this semi-final two with the first of our segments coming up for you on your screen. Opening bell now. Everybody ready? The entire quiz is on the buzzer. So, here we go. First question is a stag question. A stag question, like you all know, is a simple 50-pointer question. We'll begin with a mixed bag question. Expand to beat our table number one presidency school. Go for it. It's earnings before interest, tax and amortization. Plus 50 to start off with. Very, very well done. That's a good start that you have on it. But I have one kind request to you. Those buzzers may not be human, but they are pieces that are put together. So don't destroy them at one shot. Go easy, they will work for you. Okay, I'll move ahead then. This is a bear question. This is a brick and mortar question. A light pin to roast. Table number three, Army Public School. Go for it. It's JP Morgan. J.P. Morgan has got a light pink to rose color gemstone named after him. Yes. Plus 75 is what you start this quiz with. Well done on that answer. Moving ahead is a true or false question. A regular true or false question. And I know most of these faces have attempted true or false on 50-50 guesswork. So it does work. So don't stop yourself from attempting. But I will move on to the question. Here comes your statement on true or false. Go on. Even before I can read my statement. But that's table number two, St. Stephen's. It's true. Are you guessing? Yes. And that is a correct guess on that one. Plus 50 on getting that right. Okay, moving ahead. This is a big question that's coming up. It's a multi-clue question. It's a 75 pointer on both attempts. 75 negative. If you get either of them, get it right. Get it wrong, rather. All good? Here, I'm looking for something technical. Okay, here we go. This is the rate at which sent table number one presidency school and I start with this is the rate at which central bank. Go on, give me an answer now. Report it. Minus 75 is what you get. And I'm going ahead. Buzzer open to the other four teams and here's your second part to it. An increase in this will decrease the money supply and vice versa. Other things remaining constant. Table number four, Sigurdats. Go for it. Reverse wrapper. He said repo rate, but this is the reverse repo rate. And plus 75 is what you get for it. Well done on that one. Reverse repo rate is the answer. It's not the repo rate. Read the question. Do not be in a hurry. That's the opening bell, the end of segment one. Teams have been taking risks unnecessarily. Some teams being honest with their true or false, but that seems to be the pattern here. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 4 Semi-Final 2. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back, you're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 4 Semi-Final 2. It's begun well, team scoring pretty freely, but one team getting into an unnecessary negative zone. Don't worry about it, early days, it's meant to happen. But a quick look at the averages and indices on your screen now. But let's just move on to the second segment of this quiz. It's called Trading and here it comes. Point system remains the same. Questions will be coming up in jumbled order. It's bulls, bears and stags that you need to ensure you get right. Simple and easy. Here comes the first one of trading. This is a true or false question and it's a stag question. That means it's a 50 pointer. Administration of the patrimony of apostolic C is the central bank of Italy. True or false? At the national semi final, a true or false can be a little tricky. Way too much time on the buzzer. No buzzers then. The answer there is Vatican and the answer would have been false, not true. Okay, going ahead, it's a bad question. This is a mixed bag question. Something from the world of celebrities and finance. Here we go. What is common to Angelina Jolie, Paris Hilton, Eva Longoria in the world of finance? What is named our presidency school? Table number one. Go for it. Okay, so they all have indexes named after them. It's called an Angelina Jolie index, the Paris Hilton index, and an Eva Longoria index. How do you know that? And especially it's three women I'm giving you. Angelina Jolie. You know. Angelina Jolie. They've got their priorities right. Very, very right. That is a good answer. Good answer to get that one right. That is a plus uh, 75 that you make on that. That's well done for you. I'm going ahead. Next one is a stag question. 50 pointer. But this is a multi-clue question. Here we go. First one. This is an arrangement in which a bank and an insurance company form a partnership so that the insurance company can sell its products to the bank. Right. Table number four, Sacred Heart Senior Secondary School. It's true. It's not a true or false question. Uh, what is this called? It's a multi-clue question. So that's a minus 50. That's a minus 50. The multi-clue question is very clear about it. Minus 50 is what you get. And on the second clue, again, the value remains the same. It's 50 points and I need an answer, not a true or false. But here we go on this. The second clue. The model is known as BIM. It's workable. Okay, no buzzers. No buzzers on that one. The answer, banking insurance model. Here we go on. Next one is a stack question. This is a brick and mortar question. Here comes your questions. Long one. The ter what term is used to describe the electronic fraud tactic in which table number one, presidency school? Phishing. P H I S H I N G. P H I S. F I S H. Phishing. F I S H I N G. This is a 50 pointer question. That would mean only one team gets an attempt at it, and that is a minus 50. That's why I told you read the question. Read the question. This becomes wishing. V I S H I N G. Phishing that you're talking about is just electronic, but over the telephone, it's voice phishing, which becomes wishing. Moving on is a bull question. It's a 100-pointer. It's a slightly longer question, so bear with me on this. This group started in the early 70s and focused on how European firms could catch up with the U.S. management practices. It also developed and promoted the stakeholder approach, which based corporate success on managers taking account of all interests, not merely shareholders, client and customer, but employees and communicating within which they operate, including government. <laughs> Again, going on one word that I said, but go on. Is it World Economic Forum? You're asking me or you're telling me? Anything. And I'm saying... 100 points back on that scoring table. Well done. Well done on getting that right. Okay. Moving ahead then. It's a 50 pointer. It's a stack question. It's my favorite true or false question. Okay. So, on the buzzers, fingers everyone. Here we go. The Intelligent Investor is a 1949 book by Robert Kiyosaki. True or false? This is false. Intelligent Investor written by Benjamin Graham. And Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. So it's completely wrong. I mean, with that kind of information, I think you should come here and start doing this quiz. <laughs> outstanding answer. Outstanding answer. It may be only worth 50 points, but that is an outstanding answer. Well informed outstanding answer, Presidency School on table number one. Okay, I'm going at this one is another bull question. Here comes the question on your screen. Best of luck. 
It's the currency of Guatemala. It is named after. Whoa! It's M B Sadar High School. Go for this. Quetzal. You sure? Yes, sir. Hundred points. Yes, sir. You want? Yes. I'll give. Outstanding. Hundred points on that one. Well done. Quetzal is the right answer. I love the excitement when they get it right. There is so much excitement. And the last one of this segment coming up for you. Uh, this is a stack question. This is something. I personally believe at some point when you start looking at finance from a serious point of view, from an educational point of view, this is some place where you would look at and consider for, for your education. So from that perspective, try and figure out whose identity I'm showing you. Okay? Here we go. Something that you would pursue in the future as financial education. No buzzers, no buzzers. Too much of playing safe is happening here. They do not want to take those risks. This is a plain and simple. At home, I'm ho assuming that you've got this because either you've studied here or you've been a part of this or somebody you know knows about this is Chartered Financial Analyst Institute or the CFA Institute. Part of the higher education and finance that is concentrated on. But again, like I've always said, you get to learn newer things if you didn't know it here. That then is the end of my second segment of second semi-final at NSE's Financial Quest Season 4. Don't go anywhere. We'll come back with the averages and indices and more questions to play. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 4, Semi-Final 2. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time where we quickly have a look at the averages and indices and move on to the last segment of this quiz. Averages and indices on your screen now. That is your averages and indices. One more segment to go. It's going to make a deciding statement on which team enters the national finale. For now, let's just move on with the game. And here comes your next segment. It's called Settlement. <laughs> quiz is not over. Say Gadats, from this point, you can go on to win the quiz. St. Stephen's. You're not being second last year. It's just a matter of getting those answers right. You ready, you guys? We'll move on then to the first of our questions on settlement. Coming up for you on your screen is a stack question. And it's my favorite Twelve true five. or false question. You want to answer beforehand? Say false, no? Okay. Here comes the question for you. It's a rather statement on your screen. Here we go. Okay. Answer. Guys, I need an answer. You hit the buzzer on the question. I need an answer. True. True. That's a random, the randomest guess I've seen on the planet. But sometimes it does help. But read the question. Read the question. Don't take unnecessary negatives. If you were wrong, it would have been a minus 50. But you still get a plus 50 for being right on the answer. That's a plus 50 on that question. Okay, going ahead. Next one. It's a bad question. 75 pointer. Brick and mortar. Two boxes. Give me a right answer. And be careful. Read the question. Here we go. A stock that has lagged behind the majority of other stocks in its sector, the market as a whole, in terms of gains of a cheap pre presidency school, table number one, 4 to 75 points. Go for it. Laggard. Spell that for me. L-A-G-G-A-R-D. 75 is too long to spell, so I'm not spelling it out. 75 points is what you get. Good one on getting that right. Moving ahead then, it's a 50-pointer. It's a stack question. Ladies and gentlemen, buck up. Start going for the buzzer. Here we go. It's a mixed bag question. It's a 50-pointer. It's a workable question, according to me. Here comes your question. The view backed by supporters of the free market that economic performance is optimized when there is no government interference. One of the basic tenets of classic... Table number one, presidency school, one more time. Okay, so this is called Lazi's Fair Economics. It's like free market economics and they don't want government in in intervention. You're asking me or telling me? I'm telling, telling you. Plus 50, one more time. Well done, you guys, well done. Going ahead then, this is a big question. 75 points. I need you to identify an organization from what I'm going to show you. Okay? An organization. And please remember, 
finance is not only restricted to banks or stocks. I mean, other aspects to finance. So, remember when you're trying to answer this question. Here we go. Which organization? Table number one, presidency school doesn't seem to want to let go of the buzzer, but go on. Sodexo. Explain. Uh, those are all are the different passes, like, and Sodexo coupons, you find all of them. Like, uh, you can use it for, you can give the coupon and then you get all those things, I don't know. But it's Sodexo. I mean, you can use it as cash. It's another version to a cash yeah. or a substitute to cash from Sodexo. Sodexo. Beautiful answer on that one. Really, really nice answer. You get yourself another 75 points. You seem to be wanting to run away with the quiz. So keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Rest of you, don't let them run away with the quiz. Come on, wake up. Here we go. Next one. This is a pull question. 100 pointer. I like that expression on your face the moment 100 points comes up. But then if you do get it right, it's plus 100, right? So, it's all up to you on how you make it. It's a mixed bag question. So the question just comes up. here. It's a slightly longish question, so bear with me. The term was popularized by Benjamin Franklin and Warren Buffett. It is a principle of investing in which an investor only purchases securities when the market price is significantly below its intrinsic value. What's the term used to describe this? It's a hundred pointer. Plus hundred, minus hundred. Say good statement number four, go for it. Um, uh, call or put. Sorry? Uh, call or put. Minus 100 is what you say. Unnecessary risk on that one. 475. Anybody else wants to go for this? It almost looks like you guys want to beat up each other. Make up your mind and go for the buzzer or not. No one's risking it at 75. No buzzers. It's called margin of safety. Margin of safety is what is that's called. Moving ahead then, 50 pointer. This is a stack question. This is a visual question. According to me, extremely workable visual question. Identify an organization or a bank from what I'm going to show you. Simple and easy. Okay, here we go. It's the Dana Bank. D-E-N-A. Deva Karat Banerjee. Uh, the first two letters of the first name and the last name formed the data bag. He used to trade in gold and all before he went to switch to five. Oh, and, and that's their logo. logo like it's that. it's the inside the D. The goddess is there inside the D. Yeah. Prepare, prepared is an understatement for you guys, but very, very well done. Very, very well done. Lovely answer. 50 points is what you get on that one. Moving ahead then. Uh, this is the last question of this quiz. And uh, it's a multi-clue question. I know they've almost run away, but it doesn't stop you guys from scoring your own points. It's all up to you guys. Here we go. Here comes your question on a bull version of it. It's a multi-clue and the first clue of it on your screen. The value of cash equivalents in accounts receivable divided by current liabilities. What is the term for this? Okay, no buzzers, then I'm going to the next of my clues. This is also known as quick asset ratio, liquidity ratio, the measurement of corporate liquidity. St. Stephen's School, go for it. Cash reserve ratio. Good try, good try. It's not the cash reserve ratio, it is the acid test ratio. At least you went for it. Fair enough, fair enough. That would be a minus 100 that you get on that question. But you tried don't be so disappointed. You tried. You went for it. A quick look at the averages and indices on your screen now. But ladies and gentlemen, semi-final two has been a deep, deep relationship between the buzzer and presidency school. It's been very, very close. They almost wanted to kill each other at one point. Then they wanted to kill the buzzer. Uh, a lot of permutations and combinations there. But some outstanding answers and very, very well-timed answers. Presidency school qualifies to the national final from semi-final two. Good job, presidency school. Congratulations on that victory.
Okay, that then is the end of semi-final two with Presidency School Bangalore qualifying into the national final. I'm your host Lloyd Salana and on behalf of the entire team of NSE's Financial Quest Season 4 and CNBC TV 18, thank you, take care and see you next week.